with your lakes of fire. Yes, amen, amen, amen. We are the church of the living God. Amen. amen. We are an invincible army. There is nothing that can stand against us. Blessed be your name, O God. Hallelujah. If you have a need this evening, you can raise your hands. Amen. We'll ask our brother Sonny if you can open up in a word of prayer.
some people that have had achievements, some didn't know. Yeah. But Lord, you know best for us who come. Yes. Lord, you have given us <coughs> everything that we need, oh God. Lord, sometimes, Lord, our hearts are wanting. But Lord, you refer unto our needs, oh God. Yes. And you have provided it before. Yes. You said what you are overtired. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. You have taken us through the storm. Yes, Lord. Through the winds, yes. through the rains of God, yes. through the floods of God. Lord, we would have been a ship without a sailor. Yes. But we thank you, Lord, that you can be the captain of our yes. ship. That you can save us through these events of God. Father, tonight, Lord, we come, Lord, asking you, O oh God, to make a way for us where there seems to be no way. Amen. While the world is in another, another situation, Lord, while the world economy is crumbling, while everything is a crumbling tonight, Lord, Amen. we can see there's wars, rumors of wars, as everything taking place around us, oh God. Yes, yes. But you said you will build a hedge around us. Yes, Lord. Oh, you said, Lord, that you will protect us. Yes, yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Lord, you said you'll never leave us. Oh, yes. Lord, you'll forsake us. Thank you, Lord. Until the end of the world is gone. Thank you, Lord. And tonight, Lord, we can stand four square on your word. And we can take it, Lord, as you said. Lord, you are the same yesterday, today, yes. and forever, oh God. Amen. Your word never changes, oh God. Father, even as we come here tonight, Lord, Lord, you come and give you glory. We pray tonight for the singing. For the sounds, Lord. Lord, for the praises. Amen. Amen. The, flesh of God, Amen. the testimonies of God. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord, what you have done for us through this year. Yes, Lord. Lord, you have done great things. Yes, Lord. How great thou art. Yes, Lord. Oh, we just praise you, Lord, tonight. Lord, you became, Lord, you became <coughs> our sacrifice, Lord. Yes, Lord. Right there in the Garden of Eden, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord. And tonight, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for that sacrifice. Father, tonight, Lord, even as we continue tonight in this service, and as we, you will give us, Lord, the grace, Lord, Amen. speak to us, Lord. Lord, we need thee more than ever before. Father, Lord. Father, tonight, Lord, come and make a way for us, Lord. Amen. Help us, Lord, that we may worship you. Yes. Above all, Lord. Amen. That we may give you glory. Oh, thank, thank you, Lord Jesus. To bring forth the servant that was chosen, Lord, to bring forth your word. Yes. I pray that you will use him in a mighty way. Amen. And even as we go before the communion table tonight, yes. Father, tonight I pray, Lord, that we may we may see it fit, Lord, yes. to make ourselves right. Yes. 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 Because, Lord, you are coming, Lord, yes. and you are coming to take us home. Father. Amen. One of these days we'll be going out there. When the tables will be spread, mm. and we will, Lord, sup with you, Lord, yes. and be with you forever. Amen. Father, tonight, Lord, help Thank us. You. Bless us tonight, Lord. I pray, Lord, tonight, even in this place of fellowship tonight, you will bless us. Lord, let this place be a light out. Yes. To people that go past this place. Yes, O oh God. And they will know, Lord, mm. that your presence is here. Yes, God. Sometimes somebody will bless. Just step into this place and find salvation. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, we pray tonight, Lord, for the sick and addicted, yes. the destitute throughout the world. Yes, Lord. Those people that are dying, Lord, every day, oh Lord, we see disasters, floods, earthquakes. Oh, Lord, and volcanoes and whatever it is, oh God. And the people will go to bed tonight. There are no food for tonight. There are people who will get up in the morning in some part of the world and find nothing to eat. Yes. Father, tonight we comfort them. You feed the animals, you feed the birds. Yes. 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 These are humans. Yes. We know you can take control of them. Yes. Yes. And take them. Father, even as we tell you tonight, Lord, take authority upon your word. Yes. Yes. And find every force of darkness, yes. every demonic spirit, every yes. religious yes. spirit. Every spirit lurking around seeking yes. will be devoured. Yes. Find it right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Place the power of the Holy Ghost will take full control. Bless us even as we wait upon you. Thank you, Lord. Amen.
Amen. I greet you, Lord, in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We're happy to be back in the house of the Lord. Amen. Double portion for today. Amen. 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 And as we come, we remember Him. Amen. And we're grateful that we can be in a place like this to celebrate entering into a new year. Amen. And as I said in the morning, a new year just means it's a year closer to His coming. Amen. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Let's sing and worship Him. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessing and honor, glory and power, be unto the ancient of days.
we've got a Savior that we can talk Amen. about. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He's worthy of all praise. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This is how I find my battles. This is how I find my battles. This is how I find my battles. This is how. to rest. Amen. We are blessed. Amen. Amen. Let's call our brother Ramesh. Amen. He's going to share testimony and bless the Lord. Amen. 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 Greet you all in the wonderful name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This evening, Amen. Amen. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. 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 His name gets sweeter and sweeter as the days go by in our lives. Yeah. Amen. And without him, we cannot survive. I'm so thankful this evening that I can anchor my life on him, secured, amen, in Christ Jesus. And you know, there's so much of blessings that our Lord has undertaken for me, whether it was physical, financial, spiritual, all those blessings of the Lord. I just want to thank and exalt his name because without him, I couldn't have done it. Without him, I would have failed. Amen. But I thank him for being the captain in my life. Amen. For leading me and I will follow. Amen. Yeah. I just want to be a sheep and I just want to be guided by the great yeah. shepherd. Amen. Amen. The good, good shepherd. Our good, good father. And where could we ever have the taste of heaven? Amen. Right here in this Amen. place. Amen. Amen. Because the word of God brings life unto us, quickens us. And we are so thankful this, this evening that our God has given us the fivefold ministry that we can feast upon Amen. and take heed for what the word of God has given us in this hour. Therefore, I just want to thank him for guiding me, for protecting me, leading me, Amen. even to my immediate family and to my brothers and sisters, the family of God, that God brings us closer to one another. Amen. That we love and serve one another. Amen. Amen. Because I believe that there is somebody praying for one another. Amen. Amen. If I don't pray, for myself, there's somebody praying for me. Amen. Amen. So that I get stronger. Remember this. 
Each one of us have a burden in our hearts to take and uphold each and every one of our lives as a family of God. May the Lord bless you. And even in 2024, we are to fight. Amen. We are to fight this battle. Amen. Against this flesh. Amen. The only thing that stands against us is this flesh. And we will overcome this flesh. I just want to thank the Lord for that. Amen. Amen. Call our sister Amanda, who's going to bless the Lord in song. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior. I pray the song will be a blessing to you, and that we all are grateful that the Lord sent this message our way. A pilgrim soldier in a land that's not my own, seeking to quench the thirst within, and then a miracle of light on the horizon, shining on the road to high. Your ground, and I am grateful that He sent the truth my way. Amen. Just so grateful for the change that it has made, and when I think of where I could have been. And where he brought me from yes. makes me grateful that he sent the truth my way. The word keeps growing and unfolding every day. He leads and guides along the way. Did in our hearts burn as he spoke along the way? Break the bread, Lord, this is what we pray. And I am grateful that he sent the truth my way. I'm so
bless you, saints. Amen. 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 I'm excited. Amen. Every New Year service being here, I used to refer to this as Pastor Ronnie's Church, and I'm going to start, stop referring it as Pastor Ronnie's Church now and refer it to as, as uh, Brother Adrian's Church. Amen. Pastor Adrian. Amen. Certainly, I can say that this church has moved forward. Amen. Amen. I can feel the presence of God every time I come into this house. Amen. I feel the Holy Spirit moving. Amen. you have got something special. Amen. In this church. Amen. And I hope you can always accept that we are part and parcel of this church. Amen. amen. I think the, 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 the song that the Sister Amanda sang, uh, He sent our truth away. He can be attributed to all the stalwarts of this message, amen, amen. Yeah. where we grew up and, and came into this church, amen, and, and Pastor Ronnie used to preach this message, amen, amen. to us, and some of us are here who, who took this message, and, and some of us are not here, but we're grateful that he sent the truth our way, amen, amen. and all the other brothers that, that were here, amen, they sent the truth away, yeah. and, and Brother Adrian is doing a fantastic job as the other elders of this church, amen. And I'm so grateful that I can come and still fellowship here amen. and hear the same message that was preached then being preached here, amen, amen. with the Holy Ghost revival, amen. Amen. I don't really have a testimony as in such what has God has done for me, but I tell you that God has done everything for me. Amen. Amen. I can tell you that uh, God has helped me close, close to him never let me go Praise anything God. that i wanted god has provided amen. amen amen anything that i needed healing on god has healed me amen so my biggest testimony is that god has gotten me closer to him amen, amen. but what i want to really say is that every time i come to this church i notice that there's a, a new generation growing amen Amen. I feel like there's an adequate people here, brothers and sisters, to be the beaten to be passed on. Amen. Amen. And I know once upon a time I was at the brother's age. So I, I just wanted to share something that that will, will help our young brothers and sisters. And I thought about it and I said, be influenced by the word and not the world. Amen. Amen. Because I know what it is to go to nightclubs on a New Year's Eve. Amen. And I know what it is to go party with the world and not come to church. Amen. And I think in this church here, there's a mature young brothers and sisters that's going to take this baton on, that's going to move this church forward. But what I encourage your brothers and sisters is not to be influenced by the world. Amen. And I say this because it was my biggest struggle. Amen. That the son, Sam's sons, that the Joshua sons, that the Subhashan, the young sisters there, sisters, don't go looking for worldly things. Because if you want the worldly things, the world is going to pull you. Because what you find in this world is better than what is in the world. Amen. 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 You might find that somebody is wearing Air Jordans and somebody is dressing up in this style and that's good for you. We don't have any competition out there. God has given us everything. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Don't go change your way of eating. Now they're cooking sheep head at home, you say, no, mommy, I want sushi. Because your friends are enjoying it. That's not the way. You know, while growing up, what, we know, what I noticed growing in this message is that the message is consistent. There's no, you cannot increase it or decrease it. The prophet's word, what he told us, the word from God, is consistent. He told us how to dress, how to act. And the most humble people around the world, world, is the people from this message. 
So if you think you want to be with the world and you're the best person, you're not. Amen. Amen. But I can tell you, stay with your pastor. You know, you can go shopping, but you can't go shopping for the word of God. You can go shopping for clothes. You can go shopping for cars. You can't go shopping for the word of God. The word of God is the revelation. It's in your heart. And I can tell you that if you, the word of God is right to preach from this pulpit, which it is, because Brother Adrian's got a special gift. Right? Yeah. He's taken that token and he's like, ran with it. Yeah. What's that famous sprinter uh, guy? He's even faster than that sprinter. Amen. So, stay with your pastor. The Lord been great. Stay with your pastor. He's a, he's a great man of God. He's, your church is in good hands, amen. amen. And young brothers and sisters, you know, if you need any help, anything, you need to you need to share and help. But don't be influenced by the world. Be influenced by the word. Amen. amen. God bless. Amen. amen. We have our sister Angelia. She's going to bless the Lord in song. I greet you all in the precious name of Jesus. I hope you've been blessed with the song.
Amen. No other name but the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And have you been married to that name? Have you taken on that name? Amen. And you can only take on that name if you had a revelation of it. Amen. Amen. We'll call our sister Elaine at this time. Amen. Who's going to bless the Lord with her testimony. He's been our Jehovah Jireh. Even when we didn't ask for it, he's done oh, wonderful man. things for us. Amen. And uh, today, um, uh, I think you all know my testimony. How the Lord had been so good to Jane and I uh, when we had an accident in March. And I just want to thank him for healing me. I stand here today, I don't even feel like I've had an accident. And my body is totally healed and Jalen's well and you know it's only the grace of God. Um, people go, people have accidents and it takes them a long time to recover. But we are, we are well and I believe that's only the grace of God upon us. Today I'm going to be sharing a testimony with you. It's actually not my testimony, it's Janice's testimony. And uh, I just want to thank the Lord on her behalf and, and she's shy to come forward but uh, I'm just going to share for you um, with you how uh, the Lord uh, has been with her and made a way for her. So um, Jimmy studied um, through DUT and when it was time for her to graduate she couldn't complete her six months internship because it was COVID and the companies that she could have got an internship with we're not taking people in because people are working from home and things like that. And the time went and she couldn't get an internship. And during that time, my dad was very ill and um, he was at home uh, busy recovering from his operation and things like that. And Janice was the only one who could do certain things for my dad. So when he, he had difficulty breathing, she would go and cup his chest and help him um, you know, alleviate the pressure on his lung and things like that. And as the months went, and she would also help in the shop and things like that, months went by, an entire year went by, Janice didn't get an internship. And she would always say, Mom, you know, am I ever going to graduate? Because without this internship, I'll never be able to graduate. I'll never get, a, I'll never get my certificate so that I can apply for jobs. And I would always tell her, and we'd always talk about it and say, look, we think that the reason there's this delay is because you need to be at home. You have a purpose to fulfill. And when the time is right, God will provide you with your heart's desire. And as the time went, and I could see the, the discouragement in Janice, the, the frustration. And I kept telling her, you know, there's a reason for everything and God has a plan for you. You just have to believe, you just have to be positive and everything's going to be fine. Um, at some point, I took her for an interview with uh, one of the shipping companies and she came out of there and said, Mom, those people were so horrible and you know, I, I, I can't work there, I can't go there, I hope they don't even call me back. And I said, look, if it's meant for you and if it's God's plan for you, it's gonna happen. So we carried on and then out of the blue uh, last year, a company called her for an interview. And I was so skeptical because I never heard of this, this CETA or this uh, institution. So I did some research and I said, okay, it looks, it is a legitimate institution, let's go. We went for the interview, she got the internship. And it was always my desire that she gets placed at a very reputable company when she has her internship because it makes more sense. And it so happened that she got placed at a very reputable company and she completed her six months internship. And when she completed her six month in months internship, they offered her a further one year lunch. Yeah. And um, she eventually graduated 
and she not only graduated, I think many of you saw her, she graduated in celebration, she was interviewed by the media, her picture was all over the newspapers, and you know, uh, it's not something that we expected, she graduated with cum laude, she had many distinctions. Um, her passing with that also resulted in us getting uh, a discount. We had most of our fees paid back to us. And uh, you know, Hallelujah. all these delays brought uh, so much of the things to us. And then during her, uh, her learnership, you know, uh, she just saw an article and she decided to apply for a position. She went for the interview, she came back home and said, Mom, I was so nervous and I don't even know what I was saying and I'm never getting this job. And I said to her, look, whatever it is, whether you're nervous or you did bad, if it's God's plan, yeah, you yeah. will get the job. Yeah. And she has got the job. Yeah. In fact, she had to terminate her learnership with the, with the other company in order to get a job. And we give God all the praise for yeah. yeah. and honor. And I also thank God for her because every day when I pick her up and when she talks about her experiences, um, she always tells me, you know, Mom, God is so good to me. I don't know why God is so good to me. And I always tell her that just appreciate it and give glory to God. Amen. Because, you know, uh, we are just so blessed and we just thank God for everything He's done for Amen. us. Amen. And, um, yeah, we are truly grateful. Thank you. Amen. Amen. We'll call our sister Karen Ford. name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Funny that I would come after uh, Sister Elaine who had a hectic accident. We were also in, my kids and I, I didn't want to share this, but I thought no, the angel of the Lord was definitely with us Amen. this day. And uh, funny enough, Zion normally sits on the passenger, behind the passenger seat. But this particular day he decided no, he wants to sit almost on Autumn's lap. And Autumn's saying, Mommy, Zion is pushing me against the car. Please, like, let him move. So I'm like, Zion, please move. But Zion is refusing to move. And as we, so I said, just leave him, man. He wants to sit there. So as we left, I see this car parked like a few meters away from the robot. He's not moving. So as we, I'm coming, there's two lanes for us and two lanes for the oncoming traffic. So as I pass him, he decides now he needs to move. So what told me was the car just lit, like went forward. And I thought this guy didn't put in his clutch. He just started his car and the car jerked like forward. And then he didn't wait for me to like pass him and he into my, uh, you know where the petrol cap is? And it happened in slow motion because first we hear the, the knock, then the car like sways this way. And I'm saying, Autumn, that, that's our car because now we we this way now. So then I moved and I stopped and I'm thinking, Lord, please, I don't want to be in the situation right now. I have things to do. I need to be somewhere. Anyway, so I got out and this drunk man, black man, gets out of his car. I am so sorry and his hands are out and he wants to hug and I don't know what he wants to do. I said, sir, please, this is not the time to hug or do stuff now. You bumped my car. So he says, oh, but I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I said, just hold on, I need to check the damage on my car before we converse and so I checked the, the damage and funny enough the bump was so loud but nothing no Amen. dent on my car Amen. no scratches nothing the kids are okay I'm fine so I walk back and I look at his car his light is hanging the bumper is funny I'm trying to deal with your mess now so then I get I took his uh, numbers and everything I said no uh, I'll phone you. He said, yeah, but I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I said, yeah, it's fine, but I'll phone you. And I thought, no, you just deal with your mess. My car is fine, my kids are fine, I'm fine. We're leaving now. So I said goodbye, and then uh, that's how it ended. And I phoned uh, 
I did. I said uh, I was in an accident. He's like, are you okay? <laughs> he was like really stressed, but I believe the angel of the Lord was with us Amen. that particular day because there was oncoming traffic and they could have bumped into me when I was, you know, swayed that way. But I thank God that we were we safe. Oh, thank you. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Amen. Isaiah 43, 18-19 Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing new things. Amen. 
Hello, I'm going to read a scripture. So, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans are separate, um, you and not harm, and uh, not to harm. You plans to give you hope and a future. Amen. 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 I'll be grateful. Amen. That the Lord knows the plans that He has for us. Amen. 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 So I'd like just to bless the Lord. Give Him thanks for another year that He's seen us through. Amen. I want you to sing a song, but we're running out of time and I thought it would be more important just to share a few testimonies um, just to encourage you and uplift your faith amen so you all know the testimony that I shared uh, earlier on this year um, when Judah was born how that before <clears throat> uh, he was born that the doctors told us that he was in the home he was having problems growing and we brought the need before the church at that point um, it was two days before Judah was born that um, he was only about 2.1 uh, kgs at that time and after that we prayed the church uh, and we trusted God in the space of one day he grew from 2.1 to 2.7 kgs in the space of one day something that he was struggling to do for weeks but after prayer and believing God in the space Amen. of one day, Amen. he grew. And I shared with you how, you know, in the beginning of the year when Pastor Adrian spoke about the year 23 and how uh, Mark 11, 23 is our scripture, and how Judah, which is praise, is tied in with that. And it just, co not coincidentally, but by the Lord orchestrating it, yes. Judah was born at around 11, 23. Amen. He's the 23rd grandchild, a uh, great grandchild, my granny, and if you take the number, he has 2.73 kgs, that adds up to, a man. Uh, I can't remember the exact kgs now, but it added up exactly to 11, because he was born in the 11th hour, amen, so I just like to thank the Lord once again for that, but more importantly, whilst we were there in, 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 and, and Judah was born, the nurse came in and the nurse was a bit, um, you know, upset saying that, you know, she's not happy with the condition of the baby. He seems like he's struggling to breathe. And she went in to try and get the pediatrician urgently. And at that point when she walked out, I turned to uh, Sister Kim and I said, you know, don't stress. I'm just going to pray. And I went over the baby and instead of praying, um, if I can remember the correct words now, I said, Judah, you are the son of the Most High God. Now let your lungs breathe. Amen. And I didn't realize that the nurse was walking in just behind me like a second after I said those words. And she just came in and said, you know, everything just seems fine now. I don't know what happened. Everything is just perfectly fine. Amen. And now, as I said, he was tied in with 11.23. But here's the manifestation of 11.23 when we speak the word. Amen. And, uh, you know, I was thinking about something uh, quite funny uh, at work. We have something called work meetings, which means work in progress, where the boss wants to sit with you and go through all the matters that he gave you and, and see how far ahead the matters have gone. And whenever they have those kind of meetings, I, I, I hesitate and I don't like it when they have those meetings because I like to do my work in my own time. I don't like to be told when my work must be done and all of those things. So whenever they announce that they're having those meetings, I just cancel those meetings. When I say I cancel it, I mean I speak the word and I say that this meeting is not going to happen. <laughs> and they don't know how, but somehow those meetings always get adjourned whenever I speak the word and I say, I don't want to have this meeting now. It's, it's been happening for quite a few times and I just laugh about it every time because we can control circumstances around us. Amen. We don't realize how powerful that is yes, because we only want to apply now the things of God to spiritual things. But you see, God put Adam on the earth not to just apply amen, things to his spiritual life, but Adam was to be a God on a physical, natural earth. Yeah. See, Adam was to exercise his authority on a physical, natural earth. Come on. 
You see, so when God gives us these things, it's not to be all also spiritual, but it's to exercise in our daily lives. Yes, it's like, imagine your father gives you a credit card now and that credit card has a million rand on it. And we just sitting with that credit card, yeah. just deciding, no, we'll maybe use it once a year. Maybe sometimes not even use it in the whole, uh, the whole entire year. But that's what our Heavenly Father has given us because didn't the prophet say we have a blank check? Yes, sir. Yeah. But now how many times have we used that check this year? Mm. How many times has the bank of heaven received that check this year from you? Yeah. Amen. How many times have you received from the heavenly storeroom? Yeah. Because I can tell you that it's more plentiful than the storerooms of Egypt. Amen. I can tell you that it's not going to run out because our Heavenly Father is the inexhaustible fountain. Yes, Amen. We're never going to dry Amen. his resources out. Yes, Amen. So for 2024, I believe 2023 was just a training ground for us. I believe all the great supernatural things that we've started to see is only still in its infancy. I believe we're going to see much greater things than that amen. because Amen. we've read the quotes, missing limbs are going to appear. Amen. The prophet said, would we leap over walls? Amen. The things that God has ordained for us to do, yes. amen, it's for us to do. Amen. Because, amen, amen there's no denomination church that's going to do it. Yes. There's no denomination that's going to fulfill the remaining scriptures. Yeah. Amen. It's only the bride of Christ. Amen. amen. So for it's us to equip ourselves, amen, how? By coming to church, by coming to the training camp, getting oh, yes. the right training, amen, building up our faith. Amen. Because Satan is out there every day of the week, whether it's at work, whether it's at school, to try and influence us. Yes. So when we miss a service, amen, we are missing, amen, a serious amount of time of training. Yeah, amen. amen. Because so you're not missing anything out in the world. When, when the enemy is there influencing you, you're not missing out on that because you're going to work, you're going to school. But when you miss out on church, you're missing out, amen, on that uh, building up your faith. You're missing out on that training. Amen. And more than that, amen, church is only Sundays and on, on a Wednesday. But more than that, we've got to equip ourselves during the week. Amen. Even if it's during the work, meditate upon the Lord. Amen. Amen. Like David said, thy word have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against thee. Yeah. Amen. amen. Jesus told the disciples, amen, pray that you, know, that you don't fall into temptation. Yeah. Amen. So these things are keys, amen, for us to exercise in the kingdom of God. Amen. So be grateful. Amen. We thank the Lord for this year. He's revealed so much to us. Amen. More than, you know, we thought all the seals were open. We thought we have the open book that there's nothing more that the Lord can reveal to us. But He can take the same word that we've been hearing all these years and make it fresh to us. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. I also like to thank the Lord for, amen, His hands upon my life when it comes to um, ministry in the word. Uh, I can say that the Lord has um, taken me... Um, through this year, in this year, greater and greater into His Word, understanding His Word more and more. And I'd like to thank the Lord for that because it's only the Lord. You know, sometimes um, when Pastor Agent asks me to uh, minister, you know, I, I don't ever get a message just like that. It, it's usually in that last day or maybe sometimes the day that the Lord starts to now drop inspiration. Uh, and that's when you know then the Lord is leading be, you because you're not just trying to take something from your own intellect or something that you've learned, but you're relying upon the Lord. So I'd like to thank the Lord for that because we know that the Lord has entrusted people to minister unto His bride. Yes, sir. He's ordained man to preach the gospel. Amen. Amen. And we've got to respect the various offices. We respect our pastor. We respect the various offices in the church because that's the way God moves through. Amen. 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 So I pray you, you've also been blessed this year. I pray you've also been catching on the revelation of how God is moving in the hour and yeah. you, that you've not been remaining stagnant, but that you are pressing forward. Amen. Because if God has chosen to reveal these things to us, it, it gives us great responsibility. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'd like to call up Brother Joshua at this time. Amen. Just to say a few words before we hand over to our Pastor Adrian. Amen. I greet you all in the lovely name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Amen. You feel the sweet presence of the Holy Spirit yes. tonight. Amen. Amen. So just to recap a few things on the year 2023, <clears throat> I'm going to start reading a scripture. <clears throat> Book of 2 Chronicles chapter 7, 
reading from chapter 7, reading from verse 1, he says, Now when Solomon had made an end of praying, the fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifices and the glory of the Lord filled the house. Amen. Somebody says, the Lord filled the house. Amen. Say, I am the house Amen. that the Lord filled. Somebody says, I am the house that the Lord has filled in the year 2023. Amen. Amen. And the priest could not enter into the house of the Lord because of the glory of the Lord had filled the Lord's house. Amen. Somebody say, I am the Lord's house. Amen. Amen. And when all the children of Israel saw how the fire came down and the glory of the Lord upon the house, they bowed themselves with their faces to the ground upon the pavement and worship and praised the Lord, saying, For He is good, His mercy endureth forever. Amen. How many of you can say, His mercy endureth forever? Amen. The Lord has been good to me. How many of you can say the Lord has been yes. good to my family? Amen. The Lord has been good to me in all circumstances. Amen. And His mercy endureth forever. Amen. Verse 4 says, Then the king and all the people offered sacrifices before the Lord. That's what we come to do this year. Amen. We've come to rededicate our lives. Amen. We've come because there was a temple of God. There was a time for the food, the spiritual food that the prophet has been preaching was stored up for a special season yes. that people, the different stones from around the world will be hewn down, yes. brought together to form this mystical body of Christ. Amen. And we are the temple of God. Amen. Amen. But we can say surely in this year, 2023, we had a visitation from the angel of the Lord. Amen. 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 The Bible said, I mean, the prophet of God comes so our faith can be turned back to the faith of the fathers. Yeah. And what happened in the book of Acts? They had to wait and tarry in Jerusalem until they were endured with power from on high. Yeah. What is power? It's the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Amen. We don't have our own power. Amen. Yeah. It's the Holy Ghost in us. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. It's the power of God yeah. that does the miracle. It's the power of God that brings deliverance. It's the power of God that brings the anointing Amen. that breaks the yoke of bondage. Yes, that is why this year, 2023, you'll find in many families, in all our homes, we found that people that were in bondage, those things, those yokes were broken. Amen. Because why? The anointing has come down. And it's the angel of God that brought forth the anointing. Yes. Amen. And how is bringing forth the anointing? Through the fivefold ministry. Yes. Amen. Amen. Bringing the same word. Amen. And now Amen. it's shedding light on the same word. We've had this word all these years, but now the Holy Ghost comes down, bringing the dynamics. Amen. Amen. Verse 5 says, And King Solomon offered a sacrifice of 20 and 2,000 sheep. So the king and all the people dedicated the house of God, and the priests waited on their offices. The Levite also instruments of music of the Lord, which David the king had made to praise the Lord, because his mercy endured forever. And that's what we've been doing. Amen. Giving praise to our God. Amen. When David praised by the ministry and the priests sounded trumpets before them and all Israel stood. Moreover, Solomon hallowed the middle of the court that was before the house of the Lord. For there he offered burnt offerings and the fat of the peace offerings because of, bra of the brazen because the brazen altar which Solomon had made was not able to receive the burnt offerings and the meat offerings and the fat. Also at the same time, Solomon kept the feast seven days and all Israel with him a very great congregation from the entering in of Amit unto the river Egypt. And in the eighth day, they made a solemn assembly for they kept the dedication of the altar seven days and the feast seven days. And on the three and twentieth day. Amen. Yes. Amen. Listen to the scripture now. And on the three and twentieth day, that's the twenty-third day yes. of the seventh month, Amen. he sent the people away into the tents, glad and merry in heart, for the goodness that the Lord had shown unto David and to Solomon and to Israel is 
people. Amen. Amen. So in this year 2023, the Lord has been good to us. Amen. Amen. It was a rededication of our life, bringing us back to the altar, Amen. coming back to consecration again. Yes, and when the life was consecrated again, what happened? The Shekinah glory comes down Amen. upon our, who? Upon us, the temple of God. Amen. Amen. We are the temple of God. Because why? Jesus Christ must dwell in us. And the world now must see the resurrected Jesus Christ Amen. to us. Amen. So if anybody asks you, where is Jesus? Is Jesus in me? Yes. The hope of glory. Amen. Because that is why we come to die to self. So it's not I that live it. It is Christ that live it in us. Amen. So as we recap this year, the Lord has been good to us. We identified that it is the angel of the Lord that has been with us in many circumstances. We have identified to the grace of God, the digital footprints of the angel of the Lord, that he was tied to the number 23. Amen. And you've seen supernaturally in many circumstances in every home in the church. It is brought forth healing. Amen. This is all under the third pool now because discernment has come down. You may ask, how is discernment here? Through the preaching of the word, you know that your need was spoken through. You know that through the preaching of the word, the Lord has been discerning your, your needs. He's been speaking to each one of you. In every circumstance, in amen. every area of your life, yes, from amen. the small to the middle aged, the, to the whole, to everybody. Yes, right. amen. But the greatest miracle that he's done this year, he's been restoring the Holy Ghost back into families, amen. back into individual lives. Amen. amen. In, our pers in our family, Josephine had a personal experience from the Lord. We had our brother Noah had a personal experience from the Lord. Amen. amen. We've had miracles. We have people speaking the word. Yes. And things Amen. were coming to pass. Yes. Amen. We saw God clearing debts. Amen. 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 We saw sicknesses, all types of sicknesses. Amen. Yes. God has seen them through. Amen. People have been getting jobs. Amen. We've seen God in every area of our lives. Amen. 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 But what He's been doing is preparing us because why? We are the temple where the glory of the Lord has come now to dwell in. And we are the people that He wants to use now Amen. to go and possess the gates of the enemy amen. amen for we are the people that he says thou must prophesy again before nation tongues and king amen. we are the people who will have to represent jesus christ to this dying generation amen. Amen. to this world without hope that's to this right. world that's in darkness yes, to the sir. world that is that is in chaos right now they need to see the living god amen. the resurrected jesus amen. and he's gonna work in and through his body. Yes. Amen. Amen. And the Lord has been good to us and surely we can say His mercy endure it forever. Amen. Amen. The prophet of God, I just want to read a quote, he says, Solomon was a foretype of Christ in that he built the temple and so forth. And then in that age, God gave Solomon a gift. And all of Israel recognizes that gift. And all Israel prospered under the reign of that gift. But if they had not have believed that gift that God sent through Solomon, then they would not have prospered. They wouldn't have recognized it. And they, when God sent this great marvelous gift, all Israel flourished. Amen. And you find that when God has sent his gift, which is the Holy Ghost, amen come our way everybody flourishes under that amen. amen and they became the mighty nation of the earth because they recognized the gift of God that was in Solomon so what was in Solomon it was the gift of God which is the Holy Ghost everyone with one heart and one accord was testifying of this great gift not of the great Solomon the great gift in Solomon amen. it's not the holy people it's the Holy Spirit in the people. Not the Holy Church, but the Holy God of the church. Amen. As Peter referred the Holy Mountain, it was not the Holy Mount, it was the Holy God that was on the mountain. And Solomon was just a man that God had foreknew and give him a great, wonderful gift. And when Israel saw that, it, was, it truly was the gift of God. Every one of them rallied to him that was made the revival. Amen. And we know the prophet preached the message that greater than Solomon is here. Amen. Amen. And how many of you can say, in this day, 
yeah. happened in the prophet's time. How many of you can say right now, a greater than Solomon is here. Yeah. Yeah. He's here amongst us. Amen. The same angel of God that was with the prophet is here amongst us Amen. doing the great, great and mighty works. Amen. Because why? This bride must do the greater works. Before yes. we, we are about to leave the earth now. Yes. One of these days we're going to leave here. But before we leave on the earth, there must be an impact. Yes. And that's what all this, this preparing was for. These things that we are seeing here, I want to, there's still more to come. Amen. Amen. Because why? Before we leave, we must impact the earth. Amen. It must, whatever we, whatever's going to happen is going to impact the earth in such a way that it will reach Israel. Amen. Because when Moses and Elijah come down, the news must go out that there was a people on the earth. God was with them. Amen. God worked through them. Amen. And they have left the earth a supernatural people. It was a super race, an invincible army. That's the message that will end up in Israel. Amen. Amen. I pray that God, going to 2024, 20, I pray the Lord richly bless every one of you. From my family to yours, I pray the Lord bless every one of you in your homes. I pray that as the Lord has been restoring families together, He's been restoring the family altar. You know, a supernatural thing uh, things can take place in a family altar. Yes. yes. I received my healing in the family altar. Amen. Something that might seem so simple is just a family altar. But on, on this one specific night, while having the family altar, and, and the prayer was finished, and the wife looked at me, and she started, and she walked towards me, and I recognized that this was not a normal look that she gave me. And I discerned that this was the angel of God present. Amen. And when she came, I just raised my hand because I knew what was going to happen. And she prayed for me. And I asked her, what made you do that? She couldn't understand herself what made her come towards me. It was the angel of the Lord. Amen. So in every such situation in this church as well, when I've, when I've listened to the people's testimony, I've recognized that it was the angel of the Lord that was doing these things. Amen. Amen. It's so coincidental. Brother Mervyn was burdened for the young people. In our family altar, we mentioned Brother Mervyn. I was, I was mentioning to the children, as, as, uh, but Brother Mervyn as an example of how God supernaturally intervened in his life and transformed his life, taking him out of the world and brought him to this marvelous message that how it couldn't be him that would receive this message had it not been for the grace of God. Amen. Amen. He had to be predestinated. So. God does supernatural things, but the greatest thing that He can do when He can take a person and transform his life Amen. by His transforming power. I was actually telling, speaking to the boys about you, Brother Mervyn, telling them, how, giving them an example of your life. And I was just sharing with them this last night. And coincidentally, the Lord has been burdening your heart to speak to young people. Amen. So God knows how to put things together. Amen. Amen. Nothing is done by coincidence. We thank God for His grace. We thank God for the year 2023. Just one quick testimony how we, I know we always spoke about how the Lord, we identified these digital prints, how he works with the number 23. So during the course of this year, I was at the shooting range and the, the, you normally shoot on a total of 25. So we did a warm up uh, shooting and before the, the shooting, I prayed, Lord, I said, show me that you are here. And then you can help me get through the shooting. You know, you got all these young people now. And you now come of age now. You don't want to embarrass yourself in front of the young people. So, because, <clears throat> you know, in our young days, we knew how to shoot. So, anyway, and I just said a simple prayer like that. So, we did the warm up shoot, and we're telling the scores. And you know what my score was on the board? It was 23 out of 25. <laughs> I said, thank you, Lord. Now I know that you're here. When it came to the final shoot, I got total. Amen. But it wasn't me. I knew that he was there. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm just showing you the simple things. One night, we were after the Wednesday meeting. I was, uh, we went to buy a, uh, something to eat. And Brother Adrian sent me his bill, uh, his receipt, when he went and bought something to eat. And it was number 23. He tied up and said, no. The Lord was a brother Adrian, he must be with me. <laughs> <laughs> then I, it so happened that night, uh, the wife went to buy something and then they went to buy again and they put the two receipts together. You know what? He comes up to a perfect 23. Mm. 
Ashwari Dutti. So this is how the Lord works. Amen. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. So if the anointing is here, if you catch, if you recognize the gift in the church that the God is God has placed here, if you recognize the gift, then you will receive the same oh, blessing. Yes. Amen. Amen. So God richly bless every one of you Amen. as we enter in the new year, as we took the time this year to reconsecrate our life, to dedicate our life. We've seen the supernatural because of that. Amen. Amen. He said, if you humble yourself, my people could humble themselves and call upon my name. Amen. And repent of all his sins. Surely he will come and heal the land. Amen. And we've seen the hand of God upon every one of us. If we continue to do these things, amen, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Because it, there's coming a time of economic crisis. It happened in the ministry of Elisha. Elisha had the double portion. But, and he lived in the time when there was economic crisis. There's coming a time, let me tell you something now. All this training run that you've been through is only preparing you for what's coming on the earth. Amen. Because there's coming a time when you're not going to cry. You're going to recognize the authority within you. You're going to recognize your sonship. You're going to recognize that you've got dominion. And the power of God is in you. And you're going to speak Amen. the word. You're not going to cry. You're going to speak with confidence. Amen. Amen. Because why? When, the, when you have the faith of God, which is walking in perfect faith. But you're recognizing who you are. And what the scripture says about you. You're going to speak to your circumstances. Amen. You're going to speak and God and the things are going to come to pass from what you speak. Amen. God will honor the things that you speak. Because why? You are a son and daughter of God. So when you hear about the economic crisis coming on the earth, when you hear about all this squeeze coming about, don't be dismayed. Be not afraid. Amen. Know that the angel of God is before you. Yes. Amen. Amen. Even right now, Israel fighting the battle, they're trying to fight their battle. It's not them that will fight the battle. Eventually, they will realize that all the world will turn against Israel. The army, the military will not help them. The military will not be able to fight the whole world. God himself will have to come and fight. Just like that, God is fighting our battles. He said the battle is his and the victory is ours. It's the angel of God going before us. Every time Israel went, they put the Ark of the Covenant before them. Yes. Amen. But every time the, the hawk was not there, they were defeated. But when the hawk was before them, they won. Amen. Amen. So we pray that the Lord will be with each of you. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. Amen. 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 Let's all stand together even as we get ready to hear the word of God. The angel of the Lord is here. The angel of the Lord is here. presence is in this place. Amen. Father, we hear the testimonies, we hear the songs, oh God. Father, we realize, oh God, had it not been for you, Lord, we wouldn't have had these testimonies. Yes. We wouldn't have anything to sing about. But Lord, because of your grace, your mercy, your love towards us, we can come and return thanks unto your most holy, magnificent name, oh God. 
I thank you, Lord Jesus, that we can come, Lord, in this time, Father, where, Lord, the world is going crazy and they're partying. But, Lord, we can come and, Lord, worship you in spirit and in truth. We can come to, to rededicate our lives to you and enter the new year worshiping you in spirit and in truth, O oh God. We pray, Lord, that you'll come and speak to us through your word and encourage us, Lord Jesus. Give us a word, O oh God, that will Amen. strengthen us, O oh God. Yes. And Lord, take us, Lord, even as we cross over into the new year, Lord Jesus. Give us a word to sustain us, O oh God. Even as you've been faithful in the past, we look to you now and we ask the angel of God, come and speak your word by faith. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. I tell you, I was enjoying those testimonies and it's a pretty time is going. I know many of you, more of you would have liked to come. Amen. Hallelujah. But we'll continue maybe in the next service or if you continue to share your testimonies. And don't forget, the life of God came in 2023. Zoe Rose. You don't know who that is. That's Caleb's daughter. Amen. We ended the year December with Zoe. Amen. Hallelujah. And these things are not coincidental. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So we'll uh, go into our scripture. Amen. And if you had seen my inspiration was share in his glory. Amen. I put up the church notice for the New Year's Eve service. Amen. I don't know about you, but I hope you understand that I don't just get inspiration from counting sheep at night. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. There's a waiting on the Lord. Yes, right. There's a waiting to hear what he would say to us. Amen. Yes. Amen. I was telling Brother Caleb earlier, if we were talking about continuity. If you go look how we ended December 2022, we spoke on the wings of a mighty angel. Amen. And then 2023, he would come and reveal himself in a greater way. Why? We created the expectation. Yes. So, we are saying, share in his glory in 2024. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Now that's not just given to anybody. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We greet our sister. Amen. Here yeah, with Sister Vanessa. Is that your relative? Brothers, mother. Amen. Welcome, sister. Let's give a hand. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Pray we be blessed in the presence of the Lord. We know you could have been many places celebrating this time of the year, but we thank you for coming into the house of the Lord Amen. to worship Him. Amen. I pray you'll be blessed. Amen. Romans chapter 8, verse 17 reads. Now, if we are children, then we are heirs. Yes, amen. And that should finish it for us. <laughs> imagine if you are heir of God Almighty, the creator of heaven and the earth, the one who owns it all. You mean you're an heir? Yes, amen. Now, if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ. If indeed we share in his sufferings in order that we may also share in his glory. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, you would know that Romans 8 is the chapter when it, when it goes all the way to verse 23, talking about creation's grown. But it starts out here, identifying who we are as sons and daughters of God. That as sons and daughters, if we are heirs, we can make a claim. Amen. So you see, the inspiration is not fetched, but it's in the word. If indeed we share in his sufferings, in order that we may also share in his oh, glory. Amen. Yes. If you can't say more scripture, that's scriptural. Amen. Second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 7. Amen. Hallelujah. I had to eliminate one verse, one, cha one chapter I was going to read because Brother Joshua took my chapter. He was tapping into the anointing there. Amen. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 7 says, now, if the ministry of death, which was engraved in letters of stone, came with such glory that the Israelites could not gaze at the face of Moses because of its fleeting glory, will not the ministry of the Spirit be even more glorious? Amen. 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 For if the ministry of condemnation was glorious, how much more glorious is the ministry of righteousness? 
Indeed, what was once glorious has no glory now in comparison to the glory that surpasses it. For if what was fading away came with glory, how much greater is the glory of that which endures? Therefore, since we have such a hope, we are very bold. We are not like Moses who would put a veil over his face to keep the Israelites from gazing at the end of what was fading away. Amen. You may be seated. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Amen. You know, this year we have many highlights that we can talk about. Amen. But I was trying to summarize for you earlier in the morning service and tell you, if there's anything you remember about 23, it's how the angel came to us. Amen. 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 It's very notable. Hallelujah. And you would note, yeah, why I'm saying this is because a prophet is without honor. Right? You know the scripture? And if you hear Brother Mervyn's sentiments, he's somebody who's not part of every week's service. So he would pick up on things that you wouldn't pick up. Amen? But if you really understood what he was saying, he was telling you, the movie's on, my Lord, the movie's on. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we appreciate you, Brother Mervyn. You're welcome to spend every year here with us. <laughs> no problem. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, she, uh, Sister Amanda was telling me how she spoke for Briani, and when she arrived on Sunday last week, Briani was provided. <laughs> Amen. So, Brother Mervyn, you got any needs, just tell Sister Amanda to speak. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, we have great women of faith. Amen. I said we got great women of faith in the church. Amen. God has risen great women of faith. Amen. Amen. And one of the highlights for me this year was... We were doing some outreach, and out of that outreach came Sister Michelle and her family back to church. Let's give the Lord a great of praise. Amen. And I'm asking you, amen, hallelujah, to raise an altar. I'll teach you about raising an altar, amen, at another service. But we've got to raise an altar, amen, for the total deliverance of Brother Denver. And I'm putting it out before the church because amen. if you've got nothing else to pray for, you pray for him. Yes. Amen. amen. That he'll receive total deliverance in the name amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You believe you have the power of the spoken word? Yes. Amen. amen. Then death and life lies in your power of your tongue. Amen. Amen. Yes, no. amen. Hallelujah. Praise amen. the Lord. Now, Isaiah 60 says, Arise, shine, for thy light has come. Amen. amen. That light is talking about the glory of God. That light is talking about the Shekinah of God. Amen. Yes. Amen. It's not just any light. It's the seven sea light. Oh, yes, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We've had many other words for many other ages. But at the sounding of the seventh angel's message, yes. down comes the revelation of the seven seals. Yes. And it will be these divinely revealed mystery truths that will literally turn our hearts back to the faith of the fathers. And by God's grace, it has turned our hearts back. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. I'm not talking about it in the future tense. My heart has already been turned back. Amen. For behold, darkness covers the earth. You can't tell me that you look in the earth and you can't see darkness cover the earth. Nakedness, filthiness. Amen. Man gone insane. You must have seen this documentary. They don't, can't define a woman. Documentaries. What is a woman? People are afraid to say what is a woman. Yeah. People are afraid to say that marriage ought to exist between a man and a woman. Amen. That God created Adam and Eve, Amen. not Adam and Steve. Amen. Now they've gone Eve and weave. <laughs> They've gone insane. Yeah. What is it? Another Sodom and Gomorrah, yeah. Luke 17. Amen. Amen. As it was, so shall it be. You see, the reason why Sodom is in the condition it is now, prophecy must be fulfilled. There must have come the angels again, investigating angels. And you know, that's what the prophet says. When those angels came down, that was a judgment sign because he was waked. And he was trying to figure out why, why was he waked? But then he says, that was the judge of all the earth. And, and he says, the angels themselves was his wake. So judgment has come down on the earth. In fact, judgment has been pronounced on the earth because you remember when the seventh angel messenger took up the rock and he threw it in the air. You go read the seventh angel when he's pouring out his vial. He takes something and he pours it out in the air. And Brother Brandon very significantly, while he's there, he picks up a rock 
and he throws it in the air and a whirlwind comes down cuts through the rocks pyramid shaped rocks and they asked him he says judgment about to strike and he says about a few days later that good friday alaska almost sunk and he says that great earthquake he said it won't stop it will continue so we had the closing scenes of the Gentile dispensation. Amen. Hallelujah. We are moving ahead. But you know what? If I told you the Lord was coming in 2024, I guarantee you half of the church wouldn't even be interested. You'd ask me what date. And you'd ask me, okay, what? do you know the time? Because you'd want to make last minute preparations. But the Lord told us that no man know the time. No man know the hour. Because we ought to be ready at all times. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. For darkness covers the earth. Thick darkness is over the people. But the Lord will arise upon you and his glory will appear over you. Amen. Now, here Brother Branham is talking in the message of Paradox, preached 1965. And watch how significant now. He's a prophet and God will speak to him through the word. When I picked this up, I was rejoicing. He says, when I opened the Bible, so the prophet got a new Bible, and he opened up the Bible, and he says, in the Bible, there were two ribbons, and he opened the first ribbon in the Bible, was a very strange thing, where it was, was when Solomon dedicated the temple of God, and the glory of God was so great, the Shekinah glory in the building, till the priest couldn't even minister. That's 2 Chronicles chapter 7 now. That's one marker. Talking about the Shekinah glory coming down. And the next string was laying where Ezra returned and dedicated the temple. Mm. <laughs> uh, you got to know the hidden mystery here. Amen. On the 14th of March. I didn't write the, the prophet is putting this up here. <laughs> Brother Jeff, I can't make this up. This is the prophet preaching. Okay, some of you will catch on the 14th of March what really happened on the 14th of March. There was an order given that the prophet says to go rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. You remember? The prophet gives a date to it. He says on the 14th of March, the decree was given. And all I'm going to say is somebody was elected pastor on the 14th of March. And... The third little marker that my wife had gotten me and put in the Bible not knowing with my name on it and so forth was laying to Mark 11, 23. Amen. Now how perfect can that be? Amen. She just stuck it in the Bible and that's what it was. If you say to this mountain, be moved and all of you know when that scripture was in my mind, you take people, that's when those squirrels came right in. That's exactly. Oh, now come on, give God praise if you can't watch that thing there. We can identify with all three of those markers. Amen. And I tell you, the angel put it there for a certain time and a season. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, St. John 14, 20 says, At that day you shall know that I, this is now Jesus talking, I'm in the Father. And and you in me, and I in you. Amen. Right? Are you following that thought now? Jesus was in the Father. The Father was in him. And now he says, I in you. Amen. What am I trying to tell you? The Shekinah glory is no longer just falling from the sky. Amen. Coming down. The Shekinah glory is in you. Right. Amen. 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 You carry the presence of God. Yes. Right. Now this is my main quote for the evening. And I want you to really get it. He says God had so much control of them. Now this them is talking about the prophets of old. God had so much control of them till he was their voice, their action. Amen. Now how many of you know the Bible says we are the temple of God? 
We are the temple of the Holy Ghost. I want you to know the same glory that came down, the Shekinah glory, is the Holy Ghost. Now if we are temples, tabernacles of the Holy Ghost, watch what he says now. So I'm asking, if we are tabernacles of the Holy Ghost, what are you doing with the Holy Spirit's hands? What are you doing with the Holy Spirit's feet? What are you watching with the Holy Spirit's eyes? Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. Love the quote now. I'm not going to say anything here because you think I'm into numbers here, but I see it's paragraph 124. It says, Give me a church that's so completely anointed with God till the every action and move is thus said the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. How many of you want to be that church? Amen. Yes, he says, now this is the quote I'm giving you as part of the inspiration. Give me a church that's so completely anointed with God till the every action and move is thus said the Lord. Walk in that Shekinah glory. Amen. I'll show you a Messiah, anointed one of God, standing upon the earth. Amen. Oh, yes. amen. You mean I can become the Messiah? Yes, amen. Messiah means anointed one. Amen. You are called to be the anointed one for this day. Amen. But, but I thought the message taught us that everything lay in Brother Branham. Then you've been taught. Amen. You come short. You come short. He came to equip a people and bring them to glorification. His message will bring you to glorification. You stay with the message of the hour. This message is designed to bring you to glorification. Amen. Some of you don't know what I'm talking about. I got to detail it to you. We are not in our ought to be condition. Man was made in the image and likeness of God. Amen. But man fell from his position. Man was a God of the earth. God was God of the heavens. And he said, I'll make man and he shall be. He shall have dominion and authority over the earth. Not only shall he have dominion and authority over the earth. He shall operate in a ministry of multiplication. One of the things opened up to us this year was multiplication. How it operates in the kingdom of God. Because Luke 6.38 says, Give, and it shall come back to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Anything we do, it comes back in multiplication. Amen. Hallelujah. You go read there about Elisha's ministry, how he was the first one, even before Jesus, to take bread and multiply it. Amen. Jesus took two fish and five loaves and in a ministry as Adam restored back on the earth he multiplied it yes, Amen. Amen. Amen We told you that 20 minus 10 in the kingdom of earth is 10 But in the kingdom of God 20 when you give 10 You're giving to the poor you're giving to the needy you're giving amen. Hallelujah. It comes back to you a hundredfold in the kingdom of God, it's multiplication. 20 minus 10 is 100. But don't go write that now in your maths test. Okay. So, everybody remember this because it's a message called, Who do you say this is? I asked you, Who do you say this is? Amen. You are the Messiah. Now this is strong for some people. But we are in the bright coming of Christ. Amen. Amen. Okay, let me detail this to you very quickly. In the first coming, there had to be a virgin who brought forth a physical body for, of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. For his first coming. Mm. But his first coming, would in, would, uh, it entailed many things about his life. He had to show forth the fruits of Messiah. But then the ultimate thing was that he had to sacrifice his life. And this is what I was trying to tell you. Amen. That Adam lost three things. He lost eternal life. He lost his fellowship with God. And he lost dominion over the earth. Before the fall, Adam could speak to a mountain. Adam could speak to a tree and it would move. Amen. You know how the prophet would dramatize it. Uh, Eve would say, oh, that sun is so hot. Amen. And Adam would speak a tree to come and provide shade yeah. for Eve. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 
He said, Shita would come. Amen. The, the lion would come there and he'd stroke the, the head of the lion. He had the perfect control over animal life. He had control over the fish of the sea. He had control over animal life. Amen. Hallelujah. But he lost that. So he lost eternal life. He lost fellowship with God. And he lost power. That's dominion over the earth. So when Jesus Christ comes to pay the price of redemption, if those three things are not restored, then Jesus' work was partial. You say you're making a strong statement. Yes. Otherwise, what's the need for Jesus dying on the cross if man is not going to be fully restored back to his Eden beauty? Amen. Hallelujah. So what happens? Amen. You know when Jesus died and he rose again, you find in Revelation chapter 5. Amen. They are looking for a man. Because the title deed to man's inheritance is laying with God. Amen. There's a book that the prophet says that's the title deed to man's inheritance. Yes. It's with God. But the book don't belong in heaven. Right. Come on now. Amen. The dominion don't belong in heaven. Yes. The dominion belongs on the earth. Yes. So they're looking for a man. And there's a search made that says they look all through heaven. They can't find a man. They look on earth. They can't find a man. Amen. The Bible says they even look beneath the earth. Telling you that they are looking for the ones that have gone on in this life. They're looking in paradise or maybe the sixth dimension. They're looking for a man, a worthy man. Mm. Yeah. But they can't find anyone. Mm. But wasn't Jesus a man? Yes. Why couldn't they find him? Because it must type the Bible. When the high priest goes in, into the sanctuary, nobody can go in after him. Yes. They have to wait for him to come back out. Amen. Amen. So for seven church ages, he had to make intercession in the sanctuary, in the temple of God. Amen. But at the end of that seventh age, he is coming back out. Amen. And that's when John is now weeping and he's crying and he's saying, because there's nobody found worthy. Yeah. And then one of the elders says, John, don't weep. Yeah. For the lion of the tribe of Judah yeah. had prevailed yeah. to yeah. take the book. Yeah. John turns, amen, in anticipation to see who's this lion. But when John, a type of the bride, you know, a lion now is typing because remember, the, the only ones that will see him come as a lion is the Israel people. Yeah. John is a type of the bride. When he turns to look, he sees the, the same lamb. Amen. He says, I saw it as it had been slain, amen. meaning the blood was still fresh. Oh, yes. Amen. There's still blood for you and I. Amen. amen. People may say, Amen. Hallelujah. The blood is of the mercy seat. I say you're a liar. Amen. The blood still, Amen, is available for you and I. Thank you, I want you to know no matter how much you fall, no matter how much you fail, get back up immediately, repent, and get back into His presence. You know what most people do? They go back into the world and say, oh no, when I'm fine, when I'm right with God, then I'll come back. No, that's not what to do. Amen. You have to come back immediately into the house of God. Amen. Repent Thank immediately. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. In a moment of weakness, you might make a mistake, but repent immediately. Amen. Yeah. That's no excuse for you now to say, okay, uh, I see, maybe I'm not seeing. Satan is playing with you. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh no, things are not working out for me. Let me tell you, the waiting period. God has you in a waiting period. And that waiting period is not to show that you're a failure. The waiting period is to show God in His power. Amen. If you can hold on and believe in patience, God will come in on the scene. Amen. Hallelujah. So that's your scripture. Who do you say this is? God is going to show you to be a Messiah on the earth. So what happens? Jesus now takes the book from the hand of the angel. Uh, sorry, the end uh, from God. And now he takes, and you know then from Revelation chapter 6, he opened each seal. He opens each seal. Showing his symbol. But then it goes forth in his symbol. But then there must be one on the earth. Remember I said the book don't belong in heaven. So Revelation 10 shows you how the book is coming back to the earth. In fact, Jesus showed them beforehand what authority lay in man. They had forgotten what man was about. When he spoke to the winds, 
When he spoke to the seas. When he spoke to, amen, he spoke to the blind man. He spoke to the crippled man. And they all got healed. He spoke to the tree. And the tree withered away. Then they said, what manner of man is this? We don't know about such a man. Let me tell you something. You can go to every denominational school, every Bible school, every seminary. Nobody knows the condition that Adam was in. Go look it up. Go see if they will tell you that Adam was a God man. That Adam could speak. Have you ever read their writings like that? Only in the message of the hour, you'll find that where the prophet tells us that we bypass our theophany. Yes. They don't know anything about theophanies. Yes. So here in Revelation 10, the mighty angel comes back down and he's got an open book in his hand, title deed to man's inheritance. You know what a title deed is? It's coming back to you to tell you that you are the rightful owner of the earth. And the mighty angel, now we know, that's 1963, is coming to connect with a prophet messenger. Amen. To tell him, I'm going to reveal the mysteries of God. And these mysteries of God is going to give you such a faith that it's going to put you back in your condition. Come on. Yes, sir. But you see, only a few are going to catch it. And Mark 11, 23, he's telling you how man must believe his own word. Yes. The reason why things are not happening in your life, you don't believe your own word. Right. You don't believe that you possess the power in your own mouth. Amen. Amen. You see, when Joshua was speaking to the sun, you think he went to go and pray somewhere? No. Did Joshua go to pray? No, no. Or did he say? Amen. Amen. In a moment of need, he spoke to the sun. Yes. Yes. Come on. He said, Son, stand still. The title deed comes back to a man on the earth. But if you find from verse 8 to 11, it's speaking to John. John is a type of the bride. He's talking to you and telling you, you can have the same authority that Jesus had. You can share in his glory. If you take the book and eat the book, you become the book. And then you can speak again. You see, your prophecy is different from every other prophecy in the Bible. Because your prophecy is now back in the image of God. Back in the image and likeness of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm telling you, Jesus Christ, when he died and he rose again, he paid the price for your redemption, not only for you to be saved. Right. Amen. But for you to come back to your original condition. Amen. And here's the part people don't like. The way for you to come back to your, into your sonship authority, there's only one way provided. Amen. But it's a way people hate. Because it's called the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Ah, here you go again. I thought I'd just get super duper power without the Holy Ghost. You know this Holy Ghost, he's so demanding. I can't do nothing. I can't think my own thoughts. I can't do my own things. I can't look to the left. I can't look to the right. It convicts me of everything. Amen. Makes me love everyone. Amen. It makes me forgive everyone. Yes. You know, we're talking about multiplication. You know, when Jesus is teaching about forgiveness, he's telling you to forgive in multiplication as well. Yeah. 70 times 7. Yeah. That's how the kingdom operates. Everything in multiplication. Amen. Amen. Now here's title deed coming back to a man. And let me show you. William Branham. A man who could speak to flying bees. A man who could speak to the beasts in the field. Yes. A raging bull. A man who could speak to a dead fish. Amen. He could speak to the fish of the sea. Amen. He could speak to a cyst. Yes. He could speak to a storm. Amen. What manner of man is this? Yes. A God man. A man back in the image and likeness of God. Amen. But that doesn't elevate him to tell me, hey, that he is something that I must idolize. No, that's showing me that the first wave sheep has been waved. Yes. Amen. And the first one has come to maturity. Yes. And I can come to maturity. Yes. Yes. The first wave sheep is only showing you that there's a harvest coming. Amen. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. 
Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Exodus chapter 24. Amen. Exodus chapter 24 says, When Moses went up to on the mountain, the cloud covered it. Now, if you know anything about any Exodus, there's a cloud. There's a cloud in the first Exodus. There's a cloud that overshadowed them on Mount Transfiguration. And there's a cloud that came down this day. And we know what those cloud is. The cloud is seven angels. Come on, you, you ought to give a better amen than that. Amen. If you know the message of the hour. Amen. Anytime you see a cloud, a mystery cloud, a supernatural cloud, know that it's formed by seven angels. Amen. And the glory of the Lord settled on Mount Sinai. For six days the cloud covered it. And on the seventh day the Lord called Moses from within the cloud. Amen. So who's in the cloud? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. The angels himself was his wig. Who's in the cloud? Amen. Amen. They were looking at it like this. Even now, if you look at Life Magazine, they look at it like this. Only one got secret revelation from the Lord and said, you're looking at it the wrong way. You've got to turn it to the right. Amen. And he said, when I turned it to the right, I saw that's our Lord up there. Amen. And the sight of the glory of the Lord was like a consuming fire on the mountaintop in the eyes of the Israelites. And Moses entered the cloud as he went up on the mountain. And he remained on the mountain 40 days and 40 nights. Oh, what sweet communion. Jesus is a friend of mine. Amen. Amen. You see, how much do you want the glory anointing? If you want to share in His glory in 2024, how much are you desirous of His glory anointing? Moses wanted to see His glory and God showed him His glory and it was performing. What is the glory you say? The revelation of the word. The deep hidden mystery secrets is the glory of the Lord in this day. Hear yeah, what Brother Branham is saying. Moses wanted to see the glory and God showed him his glory and it was performing miracles and divine healing. Is that right? That must be God's glory. Talk about Shekinah glory. We ought to have it tonight. I don't want a dead church. Brother, come look at this deep revelation. Don't only show me the mechanics. Yeah. We had the mechanics for too long. I bumped into a pastor earlier on. And we were sharing some things. And he was telling me, he was talking about the angel of God. And I told him, well, we were talking about the angel of God as well. Amen. And he was, you know, I'm trying to be nice here. For so long, people told us, you know, we've come up a long way. This is my spiritual voice, and if you didn't know. <laughs> Brother, we in the algebra. How about, I've never seen your ABCs. We're so skilled in algebra, because you know in algebra, they got X and they got A equal X, Y, and they got, okay? So even in algebra, they got letters. They tell you find X, you don't know where X is. Hey? <laughs> you lost him, now you're asking me to find X. They can't show you the ABCs. They hide behind quotes. But the gospel is both mechanics and dynamics. So yeah, I'm going to say it again. Moses wanted to see his glory. How many of you want to see his glory? How many of you can say you've seen his glory? Amen. God showed him his glory and it was performing miracles and divine healing. Is that right? That must be God's glory. Talk about Shekinah glory. We ought to have it tonight. It says, and brother, we all Christendom is looking for the coming of the Lord and the rapture of the church. All that's got any knowledge of the word. 
Well, if we can't have in faith enough for divine healing, how are we going to have a rapturing faith? Yes. Oh, I believe there's a great calling coming forth. I believe as David said, he laid there and waited until, you see, he listened and waited. After a while, he heard a rushing wind go through the mulberry leaves, going around. He knew God was going before him. Oh, brother, I'm listening for the rushing of the leaves. The noise in the mulberry bushes. God's going before the battle. Then let's rise and put on the full armor of God. Pull the sword. Go after it. The battle belongs to us. When we see the hand of God moving on through signs and wonders, let's start following on. Amen. Yes. That's why I say we can't go backwards. Yes. Yes. You see why I say that song even, we've seen the supernatural, seen his past tense. That's why I told him, drop the end. We see the supernatural in our day. Amen. Amen. 1 John 3 verse 2 says, Beloved, now are we the sons of God. And it does not appear what we shall be, but we know when we shall see, when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. How is Jesus now? In a glorified body. So when we see him, we shall be in a glorified body. So what is he telling? Now are we the sons of God. So being a child of God is not a future event. We are children from the point we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Born again, baptized into his kingdom. Filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. So we find here that his glory was so strong that the angels ministering to him covered their faces. You know the seraphims, they cover their faces. They got six wings. Two, they cover their face. Two, they cover their feet. Amen. Hallelujah. When Isaiah, remember Isaiah had a revelation of God's glory? So the glory of the Lord, that's why I say people don't want this word because the glory of the Lord will uncover all your weaknesses. Yes, because when Isaiah saw the glory of God, he says, oh, woe is me. Yeah. I'm a man of unclean lips. He started to remember all the things he was saying. Yes. I dwell in the land of unclean people. Yeah. Not only uncover your weakness, uncover the land's weaknesses. That's the glory of God. Amen. I'm going to reiterate, you carry the glory within you if you're filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. So now how can you go sit with unbelievers? Yes. Right. Yeah. Amen. Right. Imagine the down, down, down. Praise the Lord. There's Brother Denver. Give the Lord a good anchor of praise. Amen. That's the kind of glory I'm talking about. Amen. Amen. You wouldn't even know what we're talking about, Sister Michelle. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But we're talking about you just now, Brother Denver. But all good things. Praise the Lord. Good to see you. Amen. Imagine you're sitting in the pub and you're singing, Down, 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 it's coming down. The glory of the Lord is coming down. I'm so strong, none of these things will tempt me. What does Psalm 1 say? Blessed is the man. Put it up, Psalm 1. Some people don't know the scripture. They don't read their Bible. Amen. Nothing shall tempt me. You think so? You know the woman who was delivered from a life of sin? Yes. The prophet says she walked past the dance hall one day Amen. and she stayed to listen to that song. Yeah. Eh? And she heard, she was walking past, she can hear Whitney Houston, I will always love you. And she remembered herself in the arms of her lover. And says before she knew it, she was back in the ballroom. Mm. What does the prophet always teach us? Don't see how close you can get onto Satan's grounds. Yes. See how far you can get away from it. Don't see how close to the ledge you can get. See how far away you can get from it. What he says, blessed is the man. Not only is this man now, this man is blessed. He's the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Amen. You see why we got godly lawyers here now. Amen. You don't have to go to ungodly counsel. Hmm. I can't go to these brothers, they'll know my hidden mysteries. 
<laughs> Rather they know because the Bible says, why don't you let them judge the matter? Why are you going to the courts? Let them judge the matter. Walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand it in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. Because we all know in the bar rooms there, hey, they are not scornful. Hey, we know in the bar room they're calling on the name of Jesus too. Hey? Right? But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doth he meditate on a Sunday morning. Don't hear on Sunday. Day and night on Sunday. No, no, sorry, I misread it. It's Sunday and Wednesday night. <laughs> In his law, don't he meditate on Sunday and Wednesday night? You see, you can be that super child, super race, but it takes a life. I can show you the way back to the glory. And I know you are good students. From what I can see, it happened this year. You want and you are thirsting after his presence. Amen. As the dear panther, for the water so my soul, longer after you. Sing with me. You alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship you. You see? I can show you the way back to your Adam condition. But it requires a lot of consecration. Amen. In fact, there's no situation that can stand before you. Amen. You can get out of every situation Amen. through the word. Yes. The word is the ultimate. And tonight we're going to break strongholds. Amen. Yes. Strongholds that exist in 2023, you can't take to 2024. Yeah. Yeah. I'm here to break strongholds. Yeah. I'm here to tear down Satan's kingdom. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. He may have possessed you in 2023, but in 2024, he's going to find a new body. Amen. But don't be haphazard about it. Yeah. Otherwise, he's coming with seven of his friends. If we break addiction, it's got to leave. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. But you've got to fill it with the Holy Ghost. Amen. If we bind the strong man. Mm. Making war in the heavenlies. Tearing down principalities. That exalts itself against the knowledge of God. God's glory will reveal your true state to you. We're talking about Isaiah there. In the presence, wrong motives, and all manner of evil is exposed. Amen. You see, Isaiah in the temple saw the glory of God and it exposed his weakness. Yes. That's why through the preaching of the word, it comes to expose your weakness. Amen. Why? Because his strength is made perfect in our weakness. Yes, when, when the spirit of the Lord is convicting you, it's not to pull you down, it's to pick you up. Yes, sir. Amen. That's God's love to you, not to tear you down. Yeah. No, don't never ever feel insulted if the word is coming in a way and discerning your heart. Say that's the grace of God to me. Amen. Yeah. Because through the foolishness of preaching the word, that's what God has chosen for the salvation of man. Now, when the Bible says you are the temple of the Holy Spirit, it is saying that God's spirit lives in you. It is saying much more than that. God is saying that you are the holy place. That means that you need to take good care of yourself, both spiritually, physically, and mentally. Amen. Amen. You see, when His glory is revealed to us, and we stand in the midst of His glory, we must recognize His glory. Amen. I'm saying this again because the glory has already been falling. Amen. When we stand in the midst of His glory, we must recognize His glory. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. And we must respond to the glory by bearing fruit. 
The seed within us must bear fruit or the life in our branches must show forth life. Amen. If we don't Amen. respond to the glory of his presence like Aaron's rod did when it laid in the ark of the covenant and the glory of the Lord was upon it that a dry dead rod started to bear forth almonds. Yes. In the presence of the Shekinah glory, they had, now I gotta slow this down. They had a rod. Somebody gave me flowers from the Holy Land. Who's is this? Josephine. It's your flowers. Amen. Praise the Lord. Must be here for a reason. This look like fig trees too. This is a fig. Okay. Could be here for a reason, right? Because I'm talking about a fig tree now. What they did was Aaron's rod that was used, you know, they cast it down, it turned into a serpent. That was now an almond branch. They cut it from an almond tree. So they took this rod and they placed it in the Ark of the Covenant. Now this rod was dead for many years, dried up. But when they placed it in the Ark of the Covenant, in the presence of the Shekinah glory, the rod started to bear forth leaves and it started to bud. Amen. Come on, if you know amen. these things, say amen. amen. It started to bud and bear almonds. Amen. That's what the Shekinah glory of God will do. Amen. Now why I'm telling you that is to tell you this. The same, same Shekinah glory was in Jesus Christ. Amen. And when he appeared before this fig tree, hmm. This fig tree didn't respond like that almond branch. Yeah. Oh, yes. 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 It refused to recognize the Shekinah glory. Come on. Amen. 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 Yes. Come on. That is why Jesus cursed it. Yeah. When you can't recognize his presence, Amen. then you are cursed with a curse. Amen. Then we end up like the fig tree cursed with a, to the root. Amen. Because here, a tree that had life, it failed to recognize the presence of God Almighty and refused to bring forth its fruit. So the king of glory cursed the fig tree and said, no man eat of thee. Don't be like the fig tree. And not recognize the presence. Recognize his glory and live and dwell in the glory. The prophet says here, and when you go to talking about being born again, now this is what I'm talking about and this I found this evening when I was going home, I was telling my wife, I said, you don't know what happened this morning service. When I mentioned the Holy Ghost, there was a wave come back. <laughs> Unbelief. Rejection of that. People can't surrender to the Holy Spirit. And when I found this, I said, I must read it to the church. In preparing now, when I went home, it says, when you go to talking about being born again, receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost nine times out of ten then spirits will show their colors what they are Amen. the rejection of the Holy Ghost and that's what the matter with the church the hope of glory the baptism of the Holy Ghost has come into the people's heart and they don't recognize what it is My brother carries a Shekinah glory. Amen. My brother carries a Shekinah glory. Amen. My sister carries a Shekinah glory. Yeah. Why do you think that Jesus said in that day, you say one thing against them. Yeah. It's better than a millstone. Come on. Put around your neck yeah. and thrown into the sea. Right. You're carrying the presence of God. Amen. They think it's a little church joining or something like that. You see, we think, hey, maybe we're in the message of the hour because of the holiness standards. No. Because of the dressing standards. No. Because the women don't wear makeup. No. Because they don't wear earrings. No. We're here because we are carrying the presence of God. Come on. Amen. 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 The presence of God doesn't, will, not, will make you conform to the Bible, yeah. to the word of God, and won't make you deviate from the word yes, of God. Sir. If you get the baptism of the Holy Ghost, your battle is won. Amen. 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 He says, but that is the God, the creator living in you and giving you some of the powers. Oh, 
You know, brother, I always wonder why I look at these men ministry and I see, hey, the power of God is moving in there. You don't see the price they pay. You don't see the hours they spend in prayer. You don't see the hours they spend in the word. All you see is them come forth in the pulpit and maybe preach and then you're so critical of that. You don't see the labor that goes on. Right. Connecting with the anointing. Connecting with the angel of God. Mm. What is he saying? But this is for you now. God living in you. Giving you all the powers. He said, but I've never seen any miraculous in my life. You've not spoken. You've not believed your own word. Say, while I'm going, you know, any, any military army must test their weaponry. Your weapon is your words. Amen. Next time you have a need, speak. Amen. And believe your word. Amen. Your word is based on the word of God. Yes. You believe the word. You quote the word. You say, Lord, according to Mark 11, 23, yes. you said, if I speak to this mountain yes. and I tell it to be removed and I don't doubt in my heart, I'm refusing to doubt. I believe your word. You said I shall have what I have said. Amen. Amen. I'm laying it there. And you watch if that word yes. will not come to pass. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. But that is the God, the creator living in you, giving you all the powers. And you're in possession of anything that he had. Uh, bro, why can't you leave a mythical Jesus? I love to read about his power and the glory that he had but he wants to share his glory with no man we know the bible says that he would share but that is talking about another aspect now yes. that is talking about man taking glory for himself yes. he won't share that glory with any man but his wife he will withhold nothing from you yes. You see, in the first coming, he fully restored Adam through Jesus Christ. He's the last Adam. In the second coming, he's fully restoring Eve. That's you and me. Amen. That's the nutshell of it. Hallelujah. Gotta read this quote. And you're in possession of anything that he had. So is it in you to abstain from evil, to do good, to shun evil? And flee to righteousness. To turn away from temptation. Amen. You see, you see, it's hard. The Bible says, resist the devil and he will flee. Amen. No, no, no. I got to pray to God that this devil is on my back now. And he's making me do this. No, the Bible says, you resist the devil. Amen. Yes. And he will flee. Amen. Amen. All malice, hatred, strife, envy, and so forth. Turn away from it. For that will take him from your heart. If you will receive him, embrace him and love him and hold him in your heart and love him, I can tell you the church together in that kind of a power has the power to bind the heavens, heal the sick, Amen. open the eyes of the blind. Yes. Hallelujah. The Amen. deaf speak, the dumb speak, and the deaf hear, the cripples walk, Amen. the blind see. Why? It's recognizing the power of Almighty God into your heart. There he is, the deity. Amen. I say we all unite in the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. He says, yeah, dear brother, sister, if you haven't got the baptism of the Holy Ghost this morning, run into the kingdom of God as quick as you can. The sealing time is on. The enemy has come in like a flood. He is raising a standard against it. The drama set. The church is going home just as certain as anything. You haven't got always to wait, friend. You haven't got all the time to wait. You better come. You better make it today. That's right. While well, today is today, make it now. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. We don't know if 2024 is the year we move to glorification. Oh, yes. But we are moving another step towards glorification. Amen. Because the same spirit that did it for the groom must do it for the bridegroom. Amen. The Bible says that the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you. The same spirit that quickened his mortal body will also quicken your body. Amen. The same spirit that rose Jesus from the dead into a glorified state is the same spirit that dwells in you. Amen. 
And his final work must be to bring it to glorification. You see why the Holy Ghost is important. Without the Holy Ghost, you are not coming into glorification. The same spirit that did it for the groom must do it for the bridegroom. If the last Adam was changed from a mortal body to a glorified body, so will the last Eve be changed. My last scripture will be Psalm 24. Psalm 24 says, The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and all who dwell therein. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. We're talking about going to the glory now. To the glory anointing. Watch now what he says. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? Who shall go into his glory anointing? Who may stand in his holy place? Watch now. Come back to consecration. You can't get away from it. He who has clean hands and a pure heart. That's the ones who will have a glory anointing. Who does not lift up his soul to an idol or swear deceitfully. Now, not only that, he will receive blessing from the Lord. Amen. And vindication from God of his salvation. Such is the generation of those who seek him. Who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Amen. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be lifted up, O ancient doors. That the king of glory may enter. Amen. 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 How many of you want to say, Lord, king of glory, enter me. Amen. Oh, come into me. Amen. He says, lift up your heads, ye gates. Be lifted up, ye ancient doors, that the King of glory may enter in. Who is the King of glory? He says, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may enter. Who is he, this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. What is the Lord of hosts? The Lord of angel armies. He is the King of glory. How can we share in his glory? You say, I'm summarizing now as we close. How can you and I share in His glory? The Holy Ghost. Amen. How can we share in His holiness? The Holy Ghost. Amen. How can we share in His righteousness? The Holy Ghost. How can we share in His perfection? The Holy Ghost. Amen. How can we share in the glory anointing? The Holy Ghost. Amen. The Holy Ghost in the form of the angel of God is here to lead and guide us. Amen. Greater is He that's in, in us. Who is that? The Holy Ghost. Amen. Than He that's in the world. I am victorious because of the Holy Ghost. I am joyful because of the Holy Ghost. I have peace because of the Holy Ghost. Everything I have in this life is because of the Holy Ghost. Let's stand together. Amen. Praise the Lord. Give him a good answer of praise. You can enter into that glory realm. You can live in that glory realm. But you've got to follow instructions. Amen. The Spirit has been speaking some instructions tonight Amen. to show you how to live in the glory. Are you willing to pay the price? You know, if you want something so desperately in a natural, you must pay the price for that item. You must be willing to pay the price. Yes, you can buy an Android phone. You can get phones from 500 Rand, maybe 1,000 Rand. But if you really want a device that will meet maybe the needs that you have. Maybe you want an iPhone. The iPhone is a very selfish phone because it's an iPhone. That's why they, but you know, they got the Apple there. Way, you know, but anyway. <laughs> I don't want to says you might go give your iPhone away brother Caleb. Amen. Praise the Lord. But what am I telling you? If you really want an object, what would you do? You would pay the price for it. Because you know the value. Jesus knew the value that you have. That's why he paid the price. The Bible says, for the glory that was set before him, he endured the cross. You were the glory that was set before him. Jesus knew that in order to have dominion on the earth, in this last day, you would have had to have a people where his spirit can dwell in their hearts. I want you to bow your heads now. Nobody looking around. Amen. Praise the Lord.
Can we get some music here? Amen. Just the piano, maybe. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. We need to break yoke of the enemy. We need to break bondages. We need to break strongholds. And then we need an infilling. Yes, Lord. I want to enter 2024 with more of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Yes, Lord. I'm not satisfied with what I have now. Yes. Oh, yes. I want to enter with more glory anointing. Amen. Amen. Oh. Hallelujah. Lay all the blood of Jesus. Amen. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Maybe Satan has been tormenting you. Strongholds in your mind. Maybe you've been having mind battles, suicidal thoughts. Maybe you've been thinking, hey, life is not worth living. Maybe the hurt and the pain is too much. Why don't you say, Lord, take control of my situation. You see, Satan is trying to cut your life short. Satan is trying to afflict you. Satan is bringing generational curses upon your life and your family. <coughs> the attack upon you is great because Satan knows the anointing you carry. Satan knows the power that you carry. And if he can stop you from allowing the anointing to flow, then there's lesser attack on his kingdom. That spirit that has attached itself to you is illegal on your body. And we need to break the strong man. We need to bind the strong man. Something that has had you bound. Yes, Lord. Some of you are addicted to Netflix. Some of you are addicted to Showmax. Some of you are addicted to, Sh amen. Spending time with the Holy Ghost eyes on ungodly things. Come on. Some addicted to pornography. Yeah. You tell me that's the Holy Ghost eyes? Some, what are you doing with the Holy Ghost hands? Mm -hmm. What are you doing with the Holy Ghost feet? Amen. You speak filthy words coming out of your mouth. But people don't want the Holy Ghost when it's the most powerful gift given to man. Amen. Put you back in the image and likeness of God. Yes, Hallelujah. Oh, the blood. Sing oh, the blood of Jesus. Why don't you raise your hand, amen? Raising your hand is a sign of surrender. And any illegal demon spirits attached to your body will start to react right now because they can't stand when you surrender to the Holy Spirit. Now don't, don't stay silent with your mouth. Start to sing. It washes white I'm thankful for the blood. I am thankful for the blood. Said I'm thankful for the blood. Oh, I'm thankful for the blood. Yes, it washes. Amen. Just bow your heads. You got a need. You know you have a problem. Raise your hand. I tell you, don't carry anything into the new year. Amen. Detach from that. Say, illegal alien. I ask you to detach from my body. Spirit of infirmity. I ask you to detach from my body. Every stronghold we bind in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Yes. Angel of.
of God, I ask you to go forth in the mighty name of Jesus. As a ministering spirit that was sent to the ears of salvation, I ask you to bind the strong man of, that's holding God's people bondage in the name of Jesus. I ask you to go and bind the strong man in the mighty name of Jesus. We come against the spirit of addiction. We come against the spirit of pornography. We come against the spirit, amen, of the latest fear in the name of Jesus. We come against every unbelieving spirit in the name of Jesus. <laughs> and we bind it in the name of Jesus. Satan, you are defeated. Satan, you are exposed. You demon powers, you are exposed in the mighty name of Jesus. And we command you to leave and let God's people go free in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask you never to return. We speak to you and we tell you, be cast into the sea in Jesus' name. Never return to this house again. The blood of Jesus has washed that house. The blood of Jesus has cleaned that house. Young woman, you shall be a trophy of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You shall not be a target of the enemy. Yeah. Young woman, I'm speaking to you in the name of Jesus. You shall not be an attraction for the world, but you shall be sold out to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to his name. Amen. Satan decided to have you as a trophy. But you are now God's trophy. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Lift up your hand and receive the baptism of the Holy Amen. Ghost. And say, Father, fill me with your glory. Come on. The Shekinah glory that I hear about, fill me with your glory. Oh. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive me the Holy Ghost. We break the stronghold of the enemy. We break the mark of the world in Jesus' name. We break every addiction in Jesus' name. Come against that spirit of lust in the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Those of you that want the glory, anointing to fall upon you, you raise your hand. Oh, great angel of God, I ask you to see the hearts of your people. They are desirous for the double portion anointing of your glory, Lord Jesus. Father, even as the Shekinah glory will come and sweep and fill the people, Lord. Now we know, Father, the angel of God. Oh, Father, we know the Holy Ghost has come upon us now, Father, to come and indwell us, oh God. So we lift up both hands to you now and we ask you to come and fill us with your glory, your Shekinah glory, Lord Jesus. Father, I pray, Lord, that lives will never be the same again, oh God. Father, lives will be transformed in the name of Jesus, oh God. People will walk out in newness of life, oh God. Father, we, Lord, we pray, Father, Father God, that you will, so Lord, come and fill each and every one, oh God. That they will become the living tabernacle of the Most High God. They will become the Messiah of the age. Bringing deliverance to the captive. Bringing healing to the ones that are sick. Oh, I pray, Lord Jesus, they will operate in their gifting of Elisha in the name of Jesus. Let your Elishas go forth in the name of Jesus. Let them go and prophesy again. Let there be a continuity. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. We give you glory and we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Glory be to your name, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. With your heads bowed, 1 Corinthians eleven twenty three 23 says, For I received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. <coughs> And when he had given thanks, he break it Amen. and said, take, eat. Yes. This is my body, which is broken for you. Amen. This do in remembrance Amen. of me. Amen. Amen. Brother Sebastian, you can get the bread and the wine. Thank you. Lord. Amen. Brother Joshua, if you can help him. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you. you, Father. And at the same manner, also he took the cup. And when he had supped, saying, this is the cup. In the New Testament, in my blood, Amen. this do he as oft as he drink, in remembrance of me. So you got to eat in remembrance. You got to drink in remembrance. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Amen. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily, shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself and let in eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. 
For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. <clears throat> For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brother, when you come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that he may not come together unto condemnation. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> so we know there are three physical divine orders left to the church. One of them is communion, feet washing, and baptism. Amen. Sorry, brothers, you can just stay here, please. That's the only three things. Amen. Three ordinances we have. Father, we thank you for the bread. We thank you for the wine. Amen. <clears throat> that we are about to receive in our physical bodies. And even as the bread, we partake of it. We remember your body that was broken for us. As we partake of the wine, we remember your blood that was shed for us. I pray, Lord, even as these bread and the wine enters our body yes. you'll heal every infirmity yes, Lord. every yes. sickness Amen. every disease yes, Lord. father be it physical or even spiritual yes. mentally maybe dwelling in the realms of the spirit Amen. in memory affection reasoning yes. but I pray Lord that you will bring healing Amen. in the name of Jesus yes. we ask these blessings and we thank you Lord you. that you died for us <clears throat> Shed your blood for us, Lord. Thank you for the sacrifice on the cross. Thank you for giving your own life for us. We love you, Lord Jesus. We ask these blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Brothers, you can go around and pass it around. Amen. It'll be for the purpose of time. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood, Lord. Thank you for the cross. Amen. Hallelujah. Sing thank you for the cross. <clears throat> thank you for this. Have we got the words, brother? Amen. Thank you for your name. In love you came and gave amazing grace. Thank you for this love, Lord. Thank you for this love, Lord. Thank you for the price you paid. Cleanse me in power. And all your forgiveness and embrace worthy is the Lamb your seed. Thank 
you for this love, Lord. Thank you for the nail pierced hands. Wash me in your cleansing flow. Now all I know, your forgiveness and says in St. John 13, And supper being ended, the devil having now put into the art of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him. Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he was come from God and went to God, he rise up from supper and laid aside his garments and took a towel and girded himself. And after that he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with a the towel wherewith he was girded. Then cometh he to Simon Peter, and Peter said unto him, Lord, dost thou wash my feet? And Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do, thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know thereafter. <coughs> Peter said unto him, Thou shalt never wash my feet. No. Jesus answered and said, If I washed not thee, thou hast no part with me. Simon said unto him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said unto him, He that washed need not save to wash his feet, but is clean every whip, and you are clean, but not all. For he knew who should betray him. Therefore he said, You are not all clean. So after he had washed their feet, and had taken his garments, and was set down again, he said unto them, Know ye what I have done unto you? You call me Lord and Master? You say, Well, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, you shall also wash one another's feet. I have given you an example that you should also do as I have done to you. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord, neither he that is sent greater than he that sent him. If you know these things, happy are you if you do them. Amen. 
Amen. Praise the Lord. So we know, amen, that ordinance of foot washing was given to the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's all stand together. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord.